also we can have to take advantage of blockchain and technology and take it to see this is not, not rocket science. Okay, so uh, just give me a few seconds. I'm going to try to light this thing up. Oh. Cool, 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 cool. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Thanks everybody, thanks everybody that, all, that already joined me. Um, pop back in here for a minute when you can. And then, help me out again, help me out again, help me to share this video so I can start to spread some of this information as far as I can, all right? I know there's a lot of people out there that's ready to capitalize on this, on this, this new phenomenon that we all involved in that's revolving around us, all right? So, uh, cool, cool, cool. All right, Donnell, welcome back. Wally, thanks for joining me. What's up? What's going on, guys? Cool, cool, cool. So, if you guys can help me out a little bit, look, please, please help me out. Like this video, share this video real quick so we can try to get as much of this information um, around as we can, all right? The only way, uh, you know, that we can really, really take advantage of this, all right, uh, in the best way, is that if we all start to do this stuff together, all right? Cool, cool, cool. And Dia, thanks for joining me. Darnell, thanks for joining me. Michael, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. All right, cool, cool. I had some technical difficulties at first, y'all. Uh, I guess I'm having some uh, some poor internet connections, but never the case, okay? Uh, I'm gonna get ready and, and kick this thing off right now without wait, wasting too much more time. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can start to really, really take advantage of what's going on uh, in this industry, all right? This blockchain uh, technology that's going on, all right? I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to uh, start to create your own cryptocurrencies, okay? I know a lot of people are out there that's seeing, uh, you know, everybody, you know, pumping up all the hype about all of these different uh, cryptocurrencies, about all of these uh, newly released ICOs, and, you know, it, it can get kind of overwhelming. Now, and, of course, you know, it should. It should. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of people that's trying to capitalize on what's going on here. So I kind of want to bring it, uh, slow it down and bring it home and show you guys uh, exactly um what types of opportunities are in front of us, okay? So, thanks for joining me, Sammy. Thanks for joining me, Sandra. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me, everybody. All right, cool, 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 cool. So, like I said, uh, this, this, this video is a little bit different from uh, what you're probably already seeing in the marketplace right now. A lot of people are out there. Uh, most of the people are traders right now, all right? They go onto their exchanges. Uh, they're trading in different cryptocurrencies. Uh, they're buying low. They're selling high. Um, and, and some people are getting results, all right? Some people are, are very, very successful doing that, uh, but it's not for everybody, all right? As a matter of fact, it's a very, very risky game uh, going to the exchanges and trying to trade for profit, all right? <laughs> I, I like to, you know, acknowledge it as like a shark pool, all right? Or, you know, um, it's a dog eat dog world in those exchanges, all right? Other than that, you see a lot of people that's talking about uh, some of these investment platforms, all right, or, or high-yield investment platforms, okay? And a lot of people have had bad experiences with, the, with those uh, high-yield investment platforms, okay? Um, a lot of people do not uh, really, really know how to, how to um, you know, do some investigating uh, about those high-yield investment pro programs before they actually start to take advantage, right? Oh, my, what's going on? Oh, what's the scope? Uh, yep, 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 yep. So cool, cool, cool. Like I said, April, thanks for joining me. Desmond, I see you back, bro. My man. All right, cool. So without wasting too much more time, all right, I'm going to kind of jump into this because I want to I wanna get to, you know, some of the meat and potatoes about what's going on here, okay? Um, so let me, let me jump. Let me jump. Give me a second. So uh, if you guys have been paying attention to what I've been talking about all year, I've been talking about Bitcoin and I've been talking about blockchain technology. Uh, but more than that, I've been talking about Ethereum as well, okay? So just, let's just slow it down a little bit, um, and I'm going to kind of give you a quick crash course on all of these things, all right? As a matter of fact, I, play, I prepared some slides, so let me just go ahead and put the slides up real quick, okay? Because I really want to know who, wanna, who wants to get paid on the blockchain this year, okay? A lot of people starting to hear what's going on with Bitcoin, a lot of people starting to understand what cryptocurrencies are. Uh, a lot of people are understanding that there are thousands of these different cryptocurrencies, okay? So uh, my question to you guys real quick right now, if you guys are still here in the room with me, who want to get paid on the blockchain this year? Who want to start to see what some of this new money look like? 
All right. Who, who, who want to take advantage of that? All right. If that's something that you're interested in, then you're definitely at the right place. But let me know it. Let me know it in the chat box real quick, because uh, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm giving you what you want. I'm giving you what you're looking for. OK. So definitely let me know in the chat box real quick, real quick. Darnell, Michael, Wally, somebody, India, Sammy, Sandra, somebody, somebody let me know. Somebody let me know. All right. So, like I said, like I said, uh, I'm going to kick this. I'm going to kick this off. I'm going to, you know, show you guys what it's all about today. Let me see if what's going on in my chat box real quick. Okay, cool, cool. I got some people engaging with me. And Dia says she is really ready. Me. That's what I should be hearing. Me, 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 me. All right. Who want to create their own cryptocurrency? Who wants to start to uh, take advantage of crowdfunding uh, on the blockchain? All right. Who wants to see what it's like to start to create decentralized autonomous organizations? All right. Michael say, let's get it. Let's get it. That ain't nothing to talk about. Let go. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Everybody want to get paid on the blockchain and shit. I mean, I would, especially once I start showing you some of these numbers. But I'm going to just I'm going to just run through this real quick. I'm going to run through the slides real quick and then I'm going to get to some more of the meat and potatoes. Uh, but like I said, please, please go like, go share the video real quick because it's going to be some value in here. All right. You might be able to start to go make some money just as soon as you shut this thing down. But, you know, share the wealth. So share the video, right? So cool. Like I said, who want to get paid on the blockchain this year and how are we going to do that? All right, check this out. By developing dApps and, uh, and ICOs on the blockchain. All right, if, if that's something that you're interested in, if you're interested in developing dApps or uh, decentralized, all right, decentralized applications, all right, if you're interested in doing something like that, uh, uh, then definitely let me know real quick in the chat box. What about ICOs? All right, if you guys don't know what any one of these things mean. I'm gonna let you know today. All right, adapt. All right, that's a decentralized application. All right, that works on the basis of a smart contract. All right, I'm gonna get to that in a second. Uh, but an ICO is an initial coin offering. All right, uh, and I'm gonna kind of break both of those down for you uh, while I'm going through this. But first things first, let's touch on this real quick because this needs to be talked about uh, before you even try to enter the world of investing. All right. Before you even start to enter the world of blockchain technology. All right. Or, 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 or banking with Bitcoin or all of these other cryptocurrencies. You have to know what a hype is. All right. And a hype is simply all right, a high yield investment program. All right. So what that means. First things first, when you're dealing with those things, and I'm going to kind of show you what some of those things look like. The first thing that you need to do is yield, all right? Have a high yield, all right? So that means slow down, get a grip before you start trying to jump into these investment programs, all right? Most of the times they promise very, very high rewards, but it is very, very, very high risk when you're dealing with high yield investment programs, all right? Oh, hype programs. Another thing to worry about when you're dealing with a hype program, all right, is, is a hype program is hosted on somebody's server, all right? So uh, compared to what blockchain technology offers uh, versus a, a high yield investment platform, this is very, very uncomparable, all right? Because we're dealing with centralization and we're dealing with decentralization. All right. But uh, let me move right along real quick. I want to because I want to tell you guys what the blockchain is. All right. Don't want to lose anybody. I want to make sure you guys are here. All of this stuff is value. OK. And I'm going to try to break it down as simple as I can for the even even the most average person can be able to get this. OK. So what's a blockchain? All right. A blockchain is a public distributed ledger where all of the cryptocurrency transactions are publicly recorded. All right. So just to bring it back a little bit. All right. A blockchain. It's public, all right. So compared to a high yield, a high yield investment program or a hype program, hey, that's centralized. That's that's private. That's hosted on one single person server. Whereas this blockchain is hosted on everybody's computers, all right. That makes it public. That makes it distributed, and it's a ledger, all right. A ledger is pretty much your receipt book or something where you keep a copy of all of the transactions, okay? So this blockchain, all of the transactions or everything that happens on this blockchain is public information, all right? So if you're not dealing in a blockchain, if you're not dealing in a transparent type of way, then we probably can't trust you, all right? And we probably cannot trust 
a lot of these centralized entities that's out here in the marketplace right now. Okay, so I like to say if it's not on a blockchain, it's not my business. Okay, so again, a lot of people ask me, well, well how, is a, how is a website hosted on someone's server? How is it different than a blockchain-based business? Okay, so just like I said, it's a centralized entity when I'm, when I'm working off a website that's hosted on somebody's server. All right, so if I wanted to shut that website down, the only thing I would have to do is I would have to shut that one person's server down. All right, so that means it's centralized, okay? And what Bitcoin and blockchain technology offers us is a decentralized ecosystem that we can all work on uh, in, a, in, a, in a transparent type of way, all right? In a trustless type of environment, okay? So, cool. With the blockchain, with it being public, with it being distributed, hey, that makes it decentralized. There's no real way to shut down a blockchain-based business, okay? Uh, the worst case scenario is that all of the people just stop believing and they just stop, you know, hosting the network or hosting the software on their on they, on they network. But anyway, uh, now, what's Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin is, is the world's first, all right? This is the beginning. This is the birth of cryptocurrency, all right? Bitcoin is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer monetary system, all right? A payment network, a transactions network. All right. When I mean when I say it's decentralized, it's not controlled by a bank or a government or a Federal Reserve. You do not need a bank account. You do not need Western Union. You do not need MoneyGram. You do not need anything. But hey, this blockchain. All right. That's what you, that's what we need. We need peer to peer transactions. We need to alleviate the middleman. OK, so uh, Ethereum, and I'm going to touch on all of these things uh, just a little bit more as I'm going through this stuff. So G, please just hang in there with me. What's Ethereum? OK, because when Bitcoin came, Bitcoin introduced us to a way to transfer money or transfer transfer value without having to go through the bank. OK, so that was awesome. We experienced that uh, over the past uh, since 2009. Uh, but now, more recently, we're starting to figure out that there are other cryptocurrencies out there. And one of the second ones or one of the other top performing cryptocurrencies is Ethereum. All right. So what's Ethereum real quick? If anybody can help me, you should guys should help me in the chat box real quick. Anybody that's just coming in and joining me, I appreciate y'all guys for being here. Please go like, go share real quick for me. Please go like and go share. I'm going to try to help everybody get up to speed so that you can start creating your own cryptocurrencies. All right. This stuff is going it, 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 to help. All right. Rebuild our communities. All right. It's going to help rebuild our businesses. All right. So there's more transparency. So there's more trust. So there's more ownership for the people. All right. But check this out. Ethereum is a decentralized platform for creating. All right. Again, we are creators. All right. So we it would we should we should be creating right now. All right. All of the technology that's being afforded to us, all of all of the the different phenomena that's out here, especially with this new money, we need to be trying to figure out how we can harness this information, how we can implement this information in, in, into our day-to-day -day businesses, all right, into our lives, into our communities, all right, into our families, okay? So again, a de a Ethereum is a decentralized platform for creating or building these decentralized applications that work on the basis of smart contracts, all right? So Ethereum contracts they execute exactly as programmed without any possibility of downtime, without any possibility of fraud or any third party interference. All right. So, again, these things work on the basis of a smart contract. So they, it, they execute exactly as programmed. All right. This is programming language. All right. Computer code. All right. This stuff is absolute. There's no real way uh, to to defeat this stuff. All right. So. Uh, now I'm bringing I'm bringing it on home right now. So what is an ICO? All right, and this is just for some of my new people that don't really know what's going on in this space. An ICO is an unregulated means by which funds are raised for a new cryptocurrency venture. All right, so let's point point this out real quick, real slick, right away. All right, an ICO is unregulated. All right, so if you're worried about if, is this legal, if you're worried about is is you know uh, is is this supported by the bank? Is this FDIC approved? Then the answer to that is no. All right. This is not something that the bank offers you. All right. As a matter of fact, like I said, this is an unregulated means by which funds are raised for a new cryptocurrency venture. 
All right. So right now, uh, with you know, with this being an almost unregulated market, because like I said, the, the regulators are definitely coming. The regulators are here, as a matter of fact. Uh, but we can still uh, run these ICOs and create these cryptocurrencies without really, really, really being ruled or governed. All right. But an, an initial coin offering or ICO is used by startups to bypass the rigorous and regulated capital raising process required by venture capitalists or banks. All right. So, again, if you're trying to develop, if you're trying to develop or create one of these ICOs, especially if you were in a regular traditional uh, investment space, uh, then there would be no way that you will be able to you know, join an ICO or, or better yet, offer an ICO. But now, like I said, with this cryptocurrency or this blockchain technology, we can do just that. All right. So just to bring it home a little bit, Ethereum, if you guys do not know what Ethereum is, I've been talking about it all year. As a matter of fact, it's been performing like crazy all year. But this is what it is. All right. Ethereum, look at the numbers. Let's check out the numbers real quick. Ethereum right now is $933. All right. I'm going to kick this thing off. We can pay attention to this chart right up here at the top right hand corner. All right, I'm going to show you guys just by the numbers, according to the numbers, why you should be listening to what I'm talking about. All right, just by the numbers, okay? If we would have had the same conversation yesterday, all right, we would have had the same conversation yesterday, you'd have been $60 richer. All right, $60 richer. Who want to make money by just doing nothing at all? All right, so right now, Ethereum is $933. That means yesterday you could have got this less than $900. All right, it's up 6.96%, all right, over the last 24 hours. All right, we're having the same conversation last week. All right, you'd have been able to get Ethereum for two hundred and thirty-five dollars cheaper. All right, your holdings, all right, or your digital assets would have been increased thirty-three percent. All right, all right, in just that one week. All right, now cool. Let's check out. If we were having a conversation a month ago. All right, a month ago I was talking about Ethereum. I was telling people how they can start to take advantage of this cryptocurrency space, how to take advantage of blockchain technology. They'd have been able to get that same Ethereum for $466. Now let's check out the guys that's been paying attention all year. All right, the people that's been paying attention all year, this is what's been going on all year, all right? Paul, what's going on? I see you, big dog. Uh, Mikhail, Leonard, Don, I see everybody. I thank y'all, all right? Again, check this out. If you would have took advantage of this last year, all right, this Ethereum that we've been talking about all year, you'd have got it for $922 cheaper than what I'm talking about today, all right? This is not just me talking. There's a lot of people around the world talking about the same stuff that I'm talking about. A lot of financial analysts, a lot of bankers are starting to take interest in Bitcoin, blockchain technology, and all the more recently, even this Ethereum. All right. So cool. My investors that took advantage, they decided, look, I'm going to listen to what this guy been talking about. He's been trying real hard. He's been trying to do his thing. They are in eighty six hundred percent. Increase. All right. More, more. They got eighty six hundred percent more than what they had yesterday. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. From what they had last year. All right. And that's simply buying and holding. That's no real slick stuff going on. That's just simply I'm going to buy some and I'll just forget about it. All right. Again, you'd have got that nine hundred twenty-two dollars cheaper today is nine hundred and thirty-two dollars. All right. But but I know a lot of people have got questions about what is all of this stuff. All right. What is all of this stuff? Because people don't understand what cryptocurrency is. People don't understand that I'm able to transfer value with this stuff. People don't understand none of the technology uh, behind this stuff. All right. So you can go check this out at Ethereum.org. I'm on the Ethereum website. All right. You can get some more information about Ethereum by just going to check this out right here. OK. Now, uh, before I break it down, let me go back in the chat. See who here. Ma, what's going on? I mean, bet I see you. Paul, what's going on? This is one of my minor buddies. He's mining real hard. Mikhail, smart contracts. Definitely. That's what that's, that's what we're going to get into right now. How to create these smart contracts. Leonard, what's going on, big bro? Donnie Sams, thanks for joining me. Antoine, thanks for joining me. Yep, yep, yep. I see everybody. Yep, thanks for joining me, y'all. So, so, let's go ahead and kick this thing off. Let me make sure I'm in the right page to do the right things. Yep, 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 yep. So, I'm going to start to show y'all how to create these unstoppable applications. All right. And a lot of this stuff is, you know, this, this stuff was introduced by the Ethereum platform. All right. And and again, there are a lot of other technologies that's popping up all right, that can do some of these same things. OK, cool, 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 cool. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, if anybody know what Ethereum is, if anybody has has already you know, had any experience with Ethereum already, uh, please leave it in the chat box real quick. Let me know what type of experience that you got uh, when it comes to 
Ethereum or building on top of the blockchain, creating dApps. All right. If you're a matter of fact, if you're a programmer, if you got any, you know, technical know how when it comes to, you know, programming language, you know, whether it be HTML, CSS, C++, um, Java or, or anything, let me know in the chat box real quick. Let me know in the chat box and then I'm going to kick this thing off. All right. Who ready to start to learn about what Ethereum really is? Because it's not just uh, one of the coins that's going up. It's not just that. All right. It's not just uh, one of the most expensive cryptocurrencies. It's not just that. All right. So uh, let me know if you're ready to find out what Ethereum is. I'm going to break it down. I pretty, I pretty much got it on the screen already. So if you can read, uh, then you'll, you'll, you'll start to figure this out. Tashina, what's going on? What's going on? Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Please like, please subscribe, please share. I meant share, not subscribe. I ain't on YouTube. But anyway, so here it is. Ethereum is almost an unstoppable application, and here's the reason why, okay? Ethereum is a decentralized platform for creating a decentralized applications that work on the basis of smart contracts, all right? So when I, when I say smart contracts, I mean that these uh, programs run exactly as programmed without any possibility of downtime, fraud, censorship, or any third-party in, uh, interference for that matter, all right? This... Ethereum blockchain all right, is a powerful shared global infrastructure that can help you to move value all the way around the world and also uh, start to represent the ownership of property. All right. This software all right, or this technology allows developers to create markets, all right, store registries of debt or move promises uh, or, or move or promises. Uh, to move funds in accordance with instructions given long in the past, all right, like a will or a futures contract, okay? So again, I can start to create markets, all right, store registries of debt, all right? So if somebody owes me some money, I can document that on the Ethereum blockchain and it will be there forever, all right? So I can store registries of debt, uh, promises, all right, or a promise to pay, all right? I can store that on a blockchain, it's a, I mean, on the Ethereum blockchain, as a matter of fact. Written in a smart contract type of way. So if you know you do not stand behind your part of the deal, then this uh, contract will execute exactly as programmed. Okay? I hope that makes sense to a lot of people. But uh, again, we can start to even create wheels or futures contracts uh, with this smart contract technology. Okay? So what that means is... You know, if you ever have a death in a family and a, and a will and, and a will, you know, a lot of people start to argue about, you know, uh, the content of the will. All right. With a smart contract, there is no argument. All right. Because the instructions uh, were pre-programmed into this contract uh, long before the death even happened. OK, so again, I don't have to worry about a middleman. I don't have to worry about a counterparty risk. I don't have to worry about going to court for all of this stuff. I, hey, the smart contract is absolute. Okay, so um, anybody can do this stuff, all right? On the blockchain, anyone can set, set up a node, all right, that replicates all necessary data for all nodes to reach an agreement and be compensated by the users and the app developers, all right? This allows uh, users' data to remain private and apps to be decentralized, all right? And this is the way that the internet was supposed to work in the first place. Okay, so first things first, the Ethereum wallet, all right, if you do not have an Ethereum wallet already, you got to make sure you get an Ethereum wallet uh, loaded up because the Ethereum wallet is the gateway for creating all of these decentralized applications on the blockchain, all right? And how do we do this, all right? Once, once I know that I got this Ethereum, uh, this Ethereum wallet, all right, now I can start to create all of the technology that I'm telling you about, all right? All of this these decentralized applications that work on the basis of smart contracts. Once I have an Ethereum wallet, uh, once I can, you know, once once I can work with that, uh, then I'm ready to go. All right. So Solidity is how we do this. All right. And Solidity is pretty much a new programming language for smart contracts. All right. So with Ethereum, okay, and and this this further, you know, uh, you know, shows you why Ethereum is growing. At the rate that it's growing, all right, because this this is the type the type of technology that it's introducing to the marketplace. Okay, so again, Solidity, all right, is specifically for building smart contracts. All right, so with Solidity, you're going to start to be able to design and issue your own cryptocurrency. All right, I'm talking about creating tradable digital tokens that can be used as currency, a representation of, of an asset. 
a virtual share, or proof of membership, or guess what, anything at all. All right, these tokens can represent anything at all. These tokens use the standard coin API, so your contract is going to be automatically compatible with any wallet or any other contract or exchange that's using the same standard. All right, so if it's written with Ethereum, hey, your token can uh, be compatible with this network. All right, the total amount of token tokens in circulation can be set by you or by the programmer uh, to be a simple fixed amount or to fluctuate based on the programmer rule set. All right, so. Just like I said, if you guys are interested in creating your own cryptocurrencies, hey, I can show you how to do that, dealing with the Ethereum platform or dealing with some of the other technologies that's out here at our, at our uh, uh, you know, exposure right now. But anyway, I can start to build a tradable token with a fixed supply. I can not only do that, but I can create a central bank all right, that can issue money. All right? I can create a puzzle-based cryptocurrency. Okay, just with this Ethereum, uh, this Ethereum technology. All right, just by learning this uh, Solidity programming language. All right, and if you guys are interested, let me know if you're interested in creating your own cryptocurrencies in, in the chat. Let me know if you if you want to start to create your own cryptocurrencies, or better yet, if you want to kickstart a project. All right, with a trustless crowd sale. If that's something that you're interested in right now, please just just let me know in the chat box real quick. Because again, I'm showing you guys how to start to create your own money. All right, your own cryptocurrency. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to take advantage of the blockchain. All right, you don't have to worry about trading on the exchanges. You don't have to worry about a whole lot of expensive mining equipment. All right, you don't have to worry about uh, is this a high yield investment program or is this ICO going to really, really make it to the exchange? Is it going to pan out? Is it going to make me 10x? You don't have to worry about any of that. All right, because I'm going to show you guys how to be creators. All right, creators on the blockchain. We need to start working together to start developing all right, on this blockchain because this is what it allows us to do. All right, This allows us to create tradable tokens with fixed supplies. This allows us to create central banks that can issue money. All right, So, so again, you probably heard me talking about it a lot this year because, hey, we need uh, private, self-regulated financial systems all right, that work outside of the government outside of the banking system outside of the federal reserve all right so with this technology we can do just that okay so cool it'll also let you start to kickstart a project with a trustless crowd sale i mean guess what if if you already got some ideas and you want to start to develop on top of ethereum maybe you need some help and you need some funds to start to try to bring them to life all right so what does that sound like to me already okay Already, it sounds like if I have ideas and I want to develop on top of Ethereum, then maybe, hey, maybe I can get some funds and bring them to life. All right. Maybe I can get some funds by running a, a crowd sale. All right. Or an ICO. All right. On top of this network. OK. But guess what? Who would want to lend money to someone that they don't trust? Or better yet, someone someone that, that, they, that they don't know. All right. Well, guess what? Using the Ethereum, you can create a contract. All right. A smart contract. All right. This is what I've been talking about all year. All right. Using Ethereum, you can create a contract that will hold or contribute its money until a given date or goal is reached. All right. So what does that say? That says that Ethereum with Ethereum, I can create a contract that will hold or contribute its money. All right. Until a date or goal. That means that's a smart contract. All right. And until a date or the goal is reached, all right. Now, again, depending on depending on the outcome, the funds will either be released to the project owners or safely returned back to the contributors. Now, all of this is possible without requiring a centralized arbitrator, a clearinghouse, or having to trust anyone. Okay, so I don't have to worry about hey, is this guy going to run off with the money? All right, because it's pre-programmed into the contract beforehand. All right. I don't have to worry about if uh, if 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 it's gonna close. All right. I don't have to worry about all of the, all of the the stuff that I have to worry about when I'm dealing with human beings. All right. Uh, but check this out. Moving right along, I can even use the token uh, that I created earlier to keep keep track of the distribution of the rewards. All right. So just to bring it back a little bit, I can start to build with this technology. A crowdfunding sale to pre-sell a product. All right, that's pretty much an ICO, guys. All right, uh, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm break it down. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go to Investopedia. I'm gonna pull that up real quick. Uh, let me see if I can do it 
right here. And that's the Opedia. Need this page. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It's so cool. Let me see if I can pull up Investopedia real quick. It didn't pull up fast enough. I'm, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. And then I'm going to continue on. So if you guys are still here, let me know in the chat box. Let me know in the chat box. I'm, I'm showing you guys how to get to the money. Showing you guys how to start to develop technology on top of the blockchain. All right, so this is Investopedia. You go check it out by yourself. All right, just just hey, do your own due diligence. All right, so these guys let you know in the door. All right, this is some of their guys. All right. Anyway, an ICO. The definition of an ICO is an unregulated means by which funds are raised for a new cryptocurrency venture. All right, it is unregulated. All right, this is an unregulated way to raise money. All right, so. A crowdfund, a pre-sale, a product. This is an ICO. If you want to create an ICO, you can do it on top of the Ethereum blockchain. If you want to, if you want to do a crowd sale to sell virtual shares in a blockchain organization, you can do it with, with Ethereum. If you want to create an auction with a limited number of, of items, you can do it with Ethereum. All right. But more than anything, all right, more than just creating tokens or more than you know creating uh, crowd sales and stuff like that, this is one of the best things that you could do. This is one of the best things that you can do with this Ethereum, uh, uh, with this Ethereum technology. I can begin to create autonomous, all right. As a matter of fact, decentralized or democratic autonomous organizations. Okay. So who, 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 who's man is starting to wonder right now uh, what a, a, a democratic autonomous organization is? All right. Who can who can really start to figure out what this can possibly uh, empower us to be able to do? All right. If, if anybody mind is starting to wonder already what a democratic autonomous organization can start to do, uh, let me know real quick in the chat box because I'm going to get ready and break this down for you real quick. Uh, then I'm going to start to show you a little bit of the code and hey, I'm going to show you a little bit, a little bit more stuff and then I'm going to get out of here. All right. But let me let me know if you're really interested in starting to create these these cryptocurrencies, starting to create these crowd funds, these crowd sales on top of the blockchain and and, and even now, check this out, a democratic autonomous organization. All right. So even after you develop your idea, you secure the funds. Now, what's next? All right. Usually you will have to hire managers or find a trustworthy CFO to handle all of the accounts, run the board room meetings and do all of the paperwork. <laughs> but not with Ethereum. All right. Not with a decentralized program or a decentralized application that's going to work exactly as programmed. All right. You don't have to worry about any of that. All right. You don't have to worry about people showing up late for work. You don't have to worry about people uh, uh, stealing from the fund. You don't have to worry about any of that. All right. This technology would allow you to collect proposals from your backers and it, it'll even allow you to submit them through a completely transparent voting process. All right. One of the many advantages of having a robot run your organization is that it is immune all right, to outside influence. All right. It's guaranteed to execute only what it is programmed to do. All right. And because the Ethereum network is decentralized in fashion, you'll be able to provide services with 100 percent uptime It's guaranteed. So check this out again with with this Ethereum technology. I can begin to be, begin to build a virtual organizations. All right. Members can vote on issues in these virtual organizations. OK. So nothing is biased. You have as long as you're a member, you get the vote on the issue. All right. Uh, a transparent organization based on the shareholder voting. All right. Look at this one. Check this out. Leslie, thanks for joining me. Your own country with an unchangeable constitution. All right. And this stuff is already happening. People are already beginning to develop these things on top of the blockchain. It's just it, the problem is that it's just not enough of us doing it. OK. Uh, also, you can create a better delegative democracy uh, again, all only with Ethereum. All right. So it's time to start to build all of these new types of de decentralized applications on top of Ethereum and, and even more lately. On top of some of the other technologies that's being created out here. OK, so 
uh, again, there's already a lot of stuff that's being created on top of the blockchain, and it, it's pretty, pretty, pretty easy, all right? It's pretty easy, uh, but you got to have some, a little bit of technical know-how in order to get started with this stuff, okay? Because there is some programming language involved, but this stuff gets easier by the day, okay? So, uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm slowing down a little bit. All right, so cool. So when I want to start to build uh, on top of the blockchain, all right, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, simple, but it does involve you starting to work with this programming language, all right? This programming language is called Solidity, all right? And hey, once you start to understand how to, how to you know, change the parameters so that it will uh, execute exactly as you want it to, then hey, then you'll be ready, you'll be in position to really, really start to uh, develop on top of this blockchain, all right? We kind of break it down, make it real easy for the average person uh, to start to get this. So uh, the only thing you got to do is just lock arms with us that's really doing it out here, okay? So give me a second, give me a second. I'm going to kind of run over here. Uh, and I'm going to, matter of fact, let me give you an example of some of the ICOs that's popping out, all right? As a matter of fact, I'm going to go right over here just, just to show you how many ICOs are just popping out every day. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wally, you can hear me right loud and clear, bro, right? Cool. All right, cool. I'm trying to go to the next screen. It looks like I'm moving a little bit slower. But... Cool, check this out, check this out. Cool, 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 all right, cool, cool. I'm still here, I'm still here. If you're still here for me, let me know in the chat box real quick. If you're still here, let me know in the chat. Bianca say she is ready. I am just joined in. Leslie is here. Arnett, what's going on? What's going on? Let me see. Michael say, you say, I'm interested in having my own money like old boy coming from, from, from coming to America. That's what I'm talking about. He say he want to put his face on the money like old boy. He talking about old boy. Old boy is called uh, Eddie Murphy, my dude. <laughs> yep, but just like Eddie Murphy from coming to America, we can start to create our own currency. All right, we can create our own currency on a lot of the blockchain uh, technologies that's being uh, that's coming out right now smart contracts can can be created on top of this blockchain all right and hey we're making it very very easy for anybody to do it so let's check out the eat the party real quick because the eat the party kind of rolls into what it is that i'm talking about you can easily go find out more information about this um just by going to eat the or either running over to you know coinmarketcap.com and guess what this technology is all right and, and before i even go to that Check out what the price of this Eat the Party is right now. It's only 35 cents. It's up 61% over the last 24 hours. And let's just look at the chart just over the past. Uh, let's just see. Look, this is from November. No, October 31st is what I see on the screen right here. October 31st, you could have got some of this stuff at 3 cents. All right, Halloween, trick or treat. All right, this was definitely a treat. All right, because if you'd have got some then at about 3 cents then, then check out the ride that you would have been on over the past, you know, two or three months. All right. 90 days right now. This is 35 cents. So this is already 10 X. All right. This technology is already 10 X. And why would this, why would this start to, 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 cool, cool, cool. Sandra, Sandra is still here. Desmond, I see you in here. Deanna, thanks for joining me. Yep, yep. Now, why would this coin start to perform in the marketplace like that? Because Eat the Party is a smart contract creation tool that allows users to create smart contracts on any compatible blockchain, okay? So I'm not just talking about Ethereum no more. Now I'm starting to talk about Waves, and now I'm starting to talk about other technologies that allow you to build on top of the blockchain, all right? And this makes it very, very user-friendly, okay? Very user friendly. Okay, so the Eat the Party is a contract wizard that removes the complexity of creating, managing, and executing smart contracts on any compatible blockchain. The platform allows users with zero knowledge, 
All right, check this out. This platform allows for users with zero knowledge of smart contract programming to create an enforceable digital agreement for all types of contracts. All right, so I don't know who's still here, but I'm, I'm, I ain't really got to the money yet. Princess Cove, what's going on, Princess? Yep, yep, yep. So, showed you guys some of that stuff, showed you that, showed you that. Now, let's see what else I can show you real quick because, again, you guys can take advantage of this stuff. All right, you can start to create your own cryptocurrencies. You can start to create on top of the blockchain. All right, so let me show you guys how we're going to do some of this stuff. So imagine, all right, imagine if you could take advantage of, give me a second here, give me a second. I'm wrapping it up, y'all, I'm wrapping it up too, all right? I know I done dropped enough value. Everybody, look, if you guys really want to capitalize on what it is that I'm talking about, if you want to start to create your own cryptocurrencies, if you want to kick off your own ICO crowd sales, all right, if you got some ideas already, then you need to connect with me because I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly what it is that I'm talking about, all right? Exactly uh, how to execute some of the things that you're seeing uh, when you're going onto the internet every day. I'm going to show you guys how to build and how to develop on top of the blockchain, all right? They say when, 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 when great minds start to come together, uh, uh, great things start to flourish. Great ideas start to flourish, all right? So we got to get more of the great minds involved with what's going on with the underlying technology, all right? So uh, give me a, one second here. Give me a second. Give me a second where I'm at. Where's my screen? All right, cool, cool, cool. So, what if you guys could start to create your own? What? Hey, tell me one of your favorite ICOs. What? What was anybody in? The, anybody uh, that's in the chat right now? Have you guys already uh, capitalized on some of the ICOs that's already out right now? What? Are, what are one of your favorite ICOs or favorite, uh, you know, platforms that's out right now? If anybody could tell me that real quick, please, please let me know what's what's one of your favorite ICOs right now. Uh, one of your favorite projects that's been that that you know has popped up on the blockchain. Let me know. Let me know. Drop it in the chat for me real quick. Cool, 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 cool. So everybody that's getting ready to disappear, all right, is it, it, not gonna get this information. Okay. So uh, give me one second. All right. Cool, cool. So here yeah, I get ready and go. Y'all get ready to go. So, cool, 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 cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. So, what what are some of the use cases for any of the you know any of the, the ICOs that's popping out right now? New Coinbase Ethos, yes. R Chain, yes, yes, yes. The New Coinbase, that's that's a funny one. Show me that one. Yep. Okay. Cool. Ethos, Ethos, Ethos. Yep. All right, cool. Anybody familiar with any of the lending platforms right now? Any of the Electronium? Electronium is definitely a sleeper right now. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Who can tell me some of the best performing ICOs of the year already or last year? Who can tell me some of the best performing ICOs of last year? All right. Who's, who's invested in an ICO uh, uh, recently right now? Tell me some of the ICOs that you're invested in right now. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, let me see. Omega One seems promising. R chain.
Cool, cool, cool. Any other ones? Any other ones? Any other ones? Any other ones? Cool. Any other ICOs? USI Tech Token. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stella. Stella, Stella. Did you take advantage of the Stella ICO? All right, cool, 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 cool. Let me see if you guys can see this. If you guys can see my screen, let me guys know if you can see my screen. I'm going to show you guys how you can start to create or develop some of these same things that you're investing in right now. All right, if anybody is familiar with a lending platform, let me know in the chat box real quick. If you're, if you're familiar with a lending platform, a staking platform, or one of those private self-regulated financial systems, all right, uh, let me know, let me know. Uh, let me know in the chat box real quick. You guys are still here. I know my screen is kind of dragging a little bit, but let me know if you can see my screen. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect. Now I know you guys can see my screen. All right. Now I'm gonna. I'm what if I can show you guys how to set up systems? Uh, that work similar to this. All right. What if I can show you, all right, how you can start to take advantage of these systems, okay, that allow you to do some of the same things, all right, some of the same things that you see me doing here. All right. What if you can create one of those lending platforms, all right, on a blockchain yourself, okay? What if you can create a token all right, to help facilitate this ecosystem. All right, to help this ecosystem run. All right, what if what if I wanted to go and you know do some of the ICO setup? All right, all right. Check this out. I can easily come in here and plug in all of those details. All right, if I wanted to make a, a you know a, a webinar coin, check this out. Uh, if I wanted to give it a, a, a WBC token, and this is the WBC token. This is not this is not live right now, guys. I'm just showing you guys how we can create, how we can become creators, and really, really start you know build banks, all right, or private self-regulated financial systems uh, outside of the banks, outside of the governments, all right. Let's say I wanted to do this at one point twenty-five. All right, I got my contract address. I can put my, if I create my smart contract, you know, depending upon how I'm creating that, hey, I'll plug in the smart contract address there, click the ICO date, the end date, the token supply, fill in all of the details, and then bada bing, bada boom. Hey, now I'm developing on top of the blockchain. All right, now instead of investing in all of these new ICOs that may or may not surface, that may or may not pan out, that may or may not make it to the exchange. All right, you can really start to create these systems by yourselves. All right, or create these systems with groups of people uh, that you know, like, and trust. All right, so with that being said, let me see. Let me see what I got in the chat. If anybody added anything to the chat, let me know. So, if any of this stuff is, is interesting to you, let me know in the chat. If anybody is looking to, to, to you know, to partner with me and start that may developing may their own, that may or may not. They de develop their own, you know, ICOs and projects on top of the blockchain. Now, let me know in the chat real quick. Let me know in the chat. If you, go, if you saw value in anything that I talked about today, please let me know in the chat. You know, let me know in the chat if this was worth anything. If this is worth your time sitting around, hanging out with me for a little while. Let me know if this is worth your time. Let me know if you got anything out of this. You know, and let me know what else, that, what else it is you want to learn about. All right. That'll help me out, too. Cool, let me see. Yep, 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 yep. So thanks, thanks everybody with me. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Okay. 
Cool, that is awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Let me see. Let me get to my chat real quick. I can't find my chat. So thanks everybody for joining me. Let me get in here. So So thanks thanks everybody with me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me pause. Awesome. Right. Let me see. Let me get to my chat real quick. I can't find my chat. So thanks everybody for joining me. Yep, yep, yep. Manny, 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 Manny is interesting. Stan, you the real one. My man, my man, tiptoe. Ain't no joke. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Thanks everybody for joining me. We see it. Yep. Yep. Wally say he see it. Sandra say she can see it. Uh-huh. Mikhail, yep, he say not familiar with lending platforms, but you're leaving a lot of money on the flow, bro. Uh, we're gonna show you how to take advantage of some of these lending platforms and show you really how to start, you know, uh really capitalizing on this marketplace, okay? Definitely, 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 definitely. I really appreciate everybody for joining me. Yep, yep. Yep, so so like I said, if anybody is looking to connect, anybody want to partner with me, anybody want to start to, you know, uh, <laughs> rebuild their communities, all right? If anybody want to help do that, all right? If anybody want to help, you know, build our banks, build banks for us, that issue our cryptocurrency tokens. If you're interested in doing stuff like that, you know, then let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So, so uh, like I said, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I really appreciate y'all for being here. Please don't forget the like. Don't forget the, you know, add me as a friend. If you're not my friend already, please make sure you add me as a friend. And uh, if you're interested in creating your own cryptocurrency, your own smart contracts, your own ICOs, if you're interested in getting some more, you know, some more advice before you invest into your next ICO, then you definitely make sure you connect with me, all right? Uh, but I'm gonna get ready and wrap all of this stuff up. If you guys got any questions, make sure you leave them in the chat box real quick before I get out of here. Yep, yep, yep. It's more to this cryptocurrency space than trading on the exchanges. It's more to this cryptocurrency space than mining uh, these different cryptocurrencies. It's more to this cryptocurrency space than just uh, than just investing. All right, we can also be creators here. All right, we can also be developers here. Sandra, 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 uh, I'm. Am I saying these platforms are safer? Uh, uh, what I'm actually saying it is it's safer for us to be to develop our own versus you know, running and giving our money to somebody that is unknown. All right. I'm definitely interested in getting this money. That's what I'm talking about. Dez, I got you, bro. We got a link, man. My brother from another. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, Sandra, definitely, definitely. I can, I can um, you know, if you want to talk to me a little bit more about, you know, um, you know, what we've been talking about today, then, then, Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm gonna wrap this thing up, everybody. If anybody got any more questions, please inbox me. Uh, hey, find me anywhere. I got a social media presence. I'm pretty accessible for right now. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.